Okay, you're back with us uh, in Republica. And uh, General Tabundong, give us, uh, for people who've never met a reservist, uh, and for the first time meeting uh, uh, Commodore Talon here, no, I was wondering, uh, this guy is a family business. Why is he wearing a uniform? No? So uh, what for? I mean, you know, so uh, what incentivizes them? Uh, what gets them into the service? Is it just the uniform or it's, it goes beyond just the uniform? Uh, sa tingin ko, sa tagal ko na ano, sa pagkikipag-usap sa mga reservists kung bakit sila nag-volunteer, oh. ang uh, nakita ko yung kanilang uh, init uh, ano, uh, feeling to serve the country mm -hmm. na hindi nila nagagawa sa ibang bagay kung di pa sa, sasali sila bilang isang reservist. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, they also want to have some uh, military training. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at the same time, uh, makapag-service sila sa ating bayan kahit hindi sila regular na sundalo. Kasi... Marami dyan, mga professional, may mga sariling negosyo, mm -hmm. mga nagtatrabaho. But sa kagustuhan nilang uh, magsilbi sa ating bayan, sumasali sila bilang reservist. Kahit na weekend soldier, sabi nga, uh, gusto nilang makapagsilbi. Kaya sumasali sila. Commodore oh. Talon, uh, your, your, your unit is all reservist actually. Yes. Uh, yes from sir, enlisted sir. personnel, non-commissioned officers, to junior officers, to yes, senior sir. officers. You had the, the Civil uh, Military Affairs Brigade. Yes. So, give us an idea. Well, I would say it's patriotism. Okay. That's the underlying reason that somebody, an ordinary citizen, would want to join the reserve. And you say this without being self-conscious. Huh? Some people no. kasi say it, it's like a punchline, no? But you say this because you mean it. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Because what else would you want? You, you have your own business to run, or you have your own job to do, and yet you'd spend your weekends away from your family trying to do something to help the country. Okay. And there's a mistaken notion that when you wear the uniform, you go to war, or you, what you want to do is uh, preparing for war. Okay. Actually, the role of a soldier also involves socioeconomic development activities. Okay. Being a patriot doesn't necessarily have to go to war. Okay. It's something to do with helping your countrymen. Sharing yourself? Yes. Sharing your skills. Your talent? Sharing your talent, your knowledge with the, to the AFP for our country. Sharing your blessings, if to be religious about it? Yes. Okay. When I mean blessings, also pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pocket blessings. Yes. Kumagastos kayo. Oh, what else are we doing? Kumagastos kayo, no? Yes. Oh. Okay. Wala naman kayo sweldo yata, no? No. Actually, there's no salary. There are no remuneration for this, no? No. Just the satisfaction of knowing that you have served. Okay. The satisfaction that uh, you have served and the gratitude of the people that yes. you have helped. Is the that smile in the faces, especially of the children. Okay. And all the old folks. Okay. What does your unit do, basically? The, the Actually, we are an expansion of the civil relations service of the AFP. Okay. We do CMO. Uh, and my, my unit has an AOR or area of responsibility that covers the whole country. Wow. We have uh, our group are uh, collocated in different area of command. Mm -hmm. And we work closely with the local government and the uh, civil relations group in that particular area of command. Mm -hmm. So, you like, uh, that's a big job, huh? if, you, uh, if it's all over the country. Yes, it is. Okay. Kayo po ay nasa Arescom. Yes. Uh, so lahat ng mga Army Reserve Units ay nasa ilalim nyo. Apo, apo. So umiikot-ikot din kayo para malaman kung ano pong kalusugan o katayuan mm. or status ng, ng, bawat, uh, ng bawat unit. Yes. Uh, practically, uh, we have units in every province. So okay. most of the time, I go around and... Uh, attend some of the ceremonies and also see the status of these uh, reservist units. Okay. Kasi kailangan namin din i-master sila or i-test. Uh, titingnan namin kung kanilang training capabilities and uh, to determine na uh, uh, operationally re ready ang kanilang uh, ano, katayuan. Kanina sa opening ko, nabanggit ko yung anniversary or celebration ninyo. Um, ngayon po ay eh, mag uh, Augusto na, magsisetyembre. Bakit po parang dalawang buwan yata yung preparasyon nyo? Please explain to us. Ano ko ba nangyayari dito sa Agosto papunta po sa September? Uh, this is actually in preparation for the National Reserve Week which is uh, on September. Okay. So, every quarter, we, the uh, AFP Reserve, uh, the uh, J9, yung ating uh, staff doon sa GHQ, yes. are, uh, is the one in charge doon sa preparation, yung Regional uh, Reserve Week. Okay. So, uh, every quarter, mayroong mga different regions pinupuntahan namin para mag ng uh, reservist advocacy. So, may kanya-kanya silang mga yes. 
ginagawang aktibidades. Yes. Uh, so, bawat region, ganun, merong, yes. may, may nangyayari. Apo, apo. To, to remind them that there is a, uh, a national celebration yes. anniversary that will yes. be observed on September... Some September uh, 15, something September like September 15. Yes. Ito pong Agosto, so far, ano pong mga nangyayari, for example, sa Arescom? Sa amin, uh, in preparation uh, for that, we are also, because we have this... Uh, RRA Family Conference on September. So, we are preparing for this event. Kasi, okay. anniversary din ng Army Reserve Command okay. on that particular uh, week sa September 12. Uh -huh. So, we will be the one who will host the uh, RRA Conference. Ito yung ating Retirees and Reservist Affairs. Okay. This will be attended by the different uh, service units at saka yung ating uh, mga nines, uh -huh. mga staff ng Army, Navy, and Air Force. Then, uh, sa ngayon, uh, in preparation for that, uh, meron kami mga series of activities. What, uh, what areas po sa ating bansa? Para lang mabanggit at malaman ng ating mga nanonood. Uh, sa ngayon, meron kami mga advocacy dito sa ating tree planting activities, mm -hmm. uh, cleanliness drive, which uh, uh, kinakandak ng ating mga reservist units. Okay. Then, continuous din ang ating uh, uh, pagtutulong dito sa mga nangailangan, mga civic action natin, dental, medical, Tuloy-tuloy tuloy yan. Tuloy-tuloy tuloy yan. Tuloy yan. Until uh, doon sa magkaroon tayo ng uh, national celebration dito sa Camp Aguinaldo by the second week of September. Okay. D dito po sa, for example, dito po sa sa, sa Visayas po, eh, meron po kayong mga activities din dyan? Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, nung last uh, two weeks ago, nandoon kami sa Bohol. Okay. At uh, nagkaroon ng uh, regional uh, uh, reservist uh, convention doon. Okay. Nandoon ng Air Force, Navy Reservist at saka ang Army. And uh, nandun din si J9, actually. Nagpunta rin siya. Nagpunta rin siya. At uh, tinignan namin yung kalagayan ng ating mga reservist. At uh, so far, uh, maganda naman yung outlook at uh, uh, mga high moral naman ng ating mga reservist doon. At uh, yun nga, uh, in-encourage namin na uh, magpatuloy nila ang ganong mga voluntary works. Especially uh, in support doon sa ating mga local governments na nangangailangan. Mm -hmm. uh, Commodore Talon, in your case, uh, what is AFRESCOM doing uh, as far as preparing for the celebration or your unit is concerned? Okay. My unit was tasked to do a medical dental mission. No? The, the place was identified where we'll do the medical mission by the Joint uh, Task Force or the NCR, which is somewhere in Malara, Paranaque. Okay. Uh, we'll do a medical dental mission there uh, to complement the celebration of the NRW or the National Health Service Week. Okay. How does that know? Can you give us an idea? Because you say it as if you're so used to this as if it's like uh, you wake up and it's it's right there. <laughs> the, uh, how do you actually operationalize this as a reservist? Because uh, from, from from a regular's point of view, I, I'm sure they're so used to this, but, mm. you know, from a civilian and then you put on your uniform and then it's mm. like Cinderella, no? It, <laughs> you put on your shoes, you're, you're, you're transformed. Is it as simple as that? Yeah, actually, the, the main players for this uh, medical dental mission, of course, would be the doctors who are our reservists. Okay. Uh, the attendees who are also reservists. And, of course, the logistics behind uh, in such an activity. Of course, you have to establish your linkages more that the partners in the private sectors will be providing the medicines, the syringes that will be used, uh, the, the, the medications that the patients will be using, or the prescription of the doctors to be filled up. All of this will be provided for and organized during a medical mission. Okay. okay. And then, what, what do you usually, uh, in an after activity, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if I say report or mm. after activity achievement, what is the usual response of, of the public uh, uh, to you? Uh, and, and I will ask also General Tamundong usually, what, are, what is the, the response of the public after such undertakings? Okay. Actually, it would be more of an appreciation of the efforts that was done, no? especially with, uh, being able to bring home the medications that they need, not to mention the, the consultation that the doctors or the dentists would have provided the services that the dentists would have provided the uh, beneficiaries for this type of activities. Uh, the more important thing is programming also the after uh, or the post uh, medical mission activity, which is a follow up of these kind of mm -hmm. activities. Of mm -hmm. course, you cannot remedy all the, the, the ailments there in one sitting. Mm -hmm. You have to have a follow up for these things. Okay. And then you have to make an assessment as well where, where we have some shortcomings or we have where areas we have made good. So more or less, we add more on the things that we did well and improve on the things that we were lacking. Okay. 
General Tamundong, usually, ano bang nagiging response sa mga tao pagkatapos ng mga tulong na inaalay natin sa, uh, sa taong bayan? Sa nakikita namin, napakaganda at response ng mga tao. At oh. uh, ito ay nakakatulong sa ating positive uh, uh, outlook ng ating armed forces. Uh -huh. uh, yung mga ginagawa namin mga medical mission ay maliit na bagay yan uh, kung tutuusin. But uh, this is uh, very important doon sa mga maliliit na mga tao na nangangailangan ng tulong. Okay. So, from that view, nakikita ng mga tao na ang armed forces pala ay hindi lang uh, nakikipaglaban sa ating okay. mga kaaway, kundi tumutulong din sa mga may hirap. So, uh -huh. part of our uh, socio-economic uh, development uh, effort na uh, natutulungan natin ito mga may hirap ay uh, ang response ng mga tao malaki, napakaganda at uh, siguro yan ang nag-contribute din sa positive rating ng uh, armed forces, uh, trust rating dito sa atin. Nakakatulong ko ba na minsan nalalaman din ng publiko na ang mga tumutulong sa atin ay mga reservist, mga volunteer ito. Does, does it have an effect in the entire scheme of things, in the, in the, in the, in the balance sheet of uh, public relations that Uy, hindi pala ito sila puro regular. Meron din pala mga volunteers dito na mga katulad natin na pangkaraniwang tao. Ta Tanungin ko muna si General Tamundong and then si, si Commodore Talon. Of course, dito sa public opinion, eh, nakikita talaga na... Kaya nga marami kaming nahihikayat ni Reservist. Minsan okay. nagtatanong sila sa mga social media kung paano sila sasali. Yes. Kasi uh, sinasabi namin na ang mga tao na ito, hindi lang regulars ito, kundi mga reservist. Okay. Uh, they are also reservist na tumutulong din sa atin, sa mga mamamayan. So, katawan lang na naka-uniform sila during that time, but uh, after that, mga civilian din sila. Kaya, malaking impact pagka natapos yung mga ganitong medical mission, dental mission, civic actions, even dun sa aftermath ng Typhoon Yolanda, marami tayong mga na-deploy na reservist. At uh, na-recognize, not only by the armed forces, but the people there, ang ating uh, mga effort ng reserves. When, when people get to know that uh, the guys that are doing these kind of activities are uh, members of the reserve force, and they get to see an opportunity to, to, for them to get involved, there's, uh, there's a way for them to express their patriotism or uh, uh, their effort that they would like to help, no? Yung mga kababayan natin. And besides, when, when you get to wear the uniform doing this, you feel proud because you're wearing the uniform of your country's uniform, the armed forces, your mm -hmm. country's armed forces. And there's a certain pride in, in wearing it and then doing those kind of activities, uh, helping out, uh, providing whatever assistance that you could, the best way you could. Mm -hmm. you know? And there are several avenues to do that. Uh, there, of course, uh, the medical mission is just a part of it. You know? Okay, coming, going to a certain barangay and doing, uh, say, uh, improving the water system or improving the sanitation. Those are other things as well. General Tamundong, who are the reservists in terms of their profile? Uh, anong, anong, anong klase sila? An anong strata, economic strata, social profile? Give sa, us an idea. Uh, sa ngayon, ang nakikita ko ngayon, kasi meron tayong tatlong kategory. Yung okay. mga sinasabi na rin, category 1, yung one, uh -huh. uh, 18 up to 35 years old. Then, uh, category 2, yung pataas ng edad, ganun, hanggang uh -huh. 50. But uh, sa ngayon, ang uh, profile natin, at least nasa, le, ano sila, nasa middle age. Okay. Kung baga, average, nandiyan sa between 30 to 40. Nandiyan ang karamihan. Okay. And most of them are uh, working. Matikas uh, pa, huwag oh, na, matikas. Oo, oh, medyo <laughs> malalakas pa ang katawan. Oo. Oh. Uh, at saka ano talagang... Ano ba tawag sabi ko, Pag mga ganong ages pa? <laughs> ha? Uragon pa? Uragon. <laughs> 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 oh, sige, okay. Sige. Oh, oh. Yan, oh. yan ang mga reservists natin na oh. uh, nasa red reserve units. Oh. Meron tayong RR1, red reserve units. Oh. Sila talaga yun. Then, uh, meron din mga medyo senior citizen ha. Pero kahit na medyo physically ano na sila, may konting karamdaman. Pero yung puso nila nandoon pa rin. 